Um, what brought on the idea to do this new album now? Um, well, um, Larry and I had been touring around and playing um, for about two years, I'd say, as a duo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was playing bass and playing piano, which we still are, but we have since added, added a drummer. Um, and uh, we were playing a combination at that point of material from my two solo records mm -hmm. and uh, some, a few rearranged Broadway songs. And, you know, as, as we started working together and playing together, we started writing together. Yeah. And we just really, uh, we, on an artistic level, we totally clicked um, as like a writing team. So we just, you know, we had all these songs and we, just, we decided that uh, it, it seemed like the right thing in the right time to, to actually make a record of this stuff. Cool. So it kind of came out of the organic process of just playing together for a couple of years. Um, where do you guys draw the inspiration for your songs? You know, I, I, can, I certainly can only speak for myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I tend to draw inspiration really from emotion, I guess, you know. Right. Um, you know, I, I if, well, if I should say first of all, a lot of times it comes from, well, yeah, it comes from emotion. You know, I, 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 I'll write a song and I, I'll never write the lyrics first. I, I write music first and I, then I write melody. And the lyrics tend, for me, tend to come out of the emotion that the melody is producing. Yeah. You know, so um, I'll sort of create a story or a scenario or a situation and that sort of fits the mood of the song. How, has, how would you say that your personal music style has evolved since the release of your first album? Um, well, you know, uh, I've become um, a much, much better musician mm -hmm. in that t in the in the time since that record, mm -hmm. and so I think that my my performance as well as my writing has has grown just simply out of that fact. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as you get better at your instrument, the your, your options your toolbox still starts to fill up more, you know? Yeah. Um, and so your, your, uh, the, your options of what you're able to use increases, and you can start getting more interesting with your ideas because you're able to execute them. How do you <laughs> feel about the closing of Rent now? Is it kind of like, like a bittersweet thing? Like you were um, with it from the beginning, and now it's like... Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm I'm just I'm so proud that it 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 lasted as long as it did. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's an incredible accomplishment, um, and you know, it certainly has given me the start to a, a career, and and remains a big part of my career. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm about to go do the tour with Anthony, and um, you know, so it's it you know it's 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 done so it's changed my life in in every way, and mm -hmm. so. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it bittersweet necessarily. I, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's just it's these things. I guess at some point have to come to an end, right. you know. Um, and this is just the end of that chapter. It's certainly not the end of of rent. Oh, I know no. not in my life. No I way. mean, it'll always be a part of my life. Um, and you know, it certainly won't be the the end in all the fans' lives. There's the movie. There's the soundtrack. You know, give it five. Ten years, there'll be a revival. I mean, like, you know, it's it, it's not going anywhere. It's right. Just, you know, it's just it's the initial run that's closing. Right. You know, and so, but like I said, it's you know things have to come to an end. It's time to time to, to close that particular chapter. 